Kujanowski winning the title yet again. And to be alive if you can do that. But he's not just going to win this event, he's going to blow everybody out of the water. It's so easy for the big man from Lithuania. Big Z. Hello and welcome to World's Strongest Man 10 for 10. This is when we take a look at the 10 strongest men to have ever walked the planet doing their top 10 disciplines at World's Strongest Man. Let's get to it. This is it, everybody at the Prima Donna Hotel can't wait to see Ahola and Rasmussen to decide the World's Strongest Man title. It's all come down to the very last event. And these guys have never let us down. Over the last few years, the climax to this contest has been enthralling. Magnus Werner Magnussen's reign is about to come to an end. And in a few moments' time, a brand new name will be acclaimed the champion. Now, Ahola just has to beat Rasmussen. And he's doing it in style at the moment. This is incredible. He's absolutely flying. Rasmussen's struggling a little bit. Samuelson's time is not an issue here. The main thing is to get points ahead of Fleming Rasmussen, who I think is destined to finish in second place. Rasmussen has definitely blown up. It's Ahala grinding out the last big effort against the man who's led for most of the final. As the sun begins to set in Nevada, it's also bringing to an end Fleming Rasmussen's title hopes. Yuka Ahala has done it. Rasmussen looking dejected and finishing second place overall, but it is his best ever performance. Massive cheers for both men, and Rasmussen goes straight away to congratulate Ahala, who's already been hugged by Hanalina. crucial. Sigmarsson has set up such a fast time that if Wolfsa were to beat Jeff into third place, that could be enough to allow the Icelander to snatch the title at the last breath. But look at this. Wolfsa has run into that pain barrier we talked about in this event. And he slowed down dramatically, but Jeff is keeping up the pace. And how about this for confidence? He snatches a gulp of a soft drink. Vulsa is really hurting. All Jeff has to do now is to deliver his last sack won the competition. And he's done it. The final scoreboard tells the dramatic story. Simon Bulfse of Holland is in third place. John Paul Sigmarsson of Iceland is runner-up. But here in Christchurch, New Zealand, Britain's Jeff Capes proudly wins the title, the world's strongest man. For the last pair in this penultimate event, Kiriskowski. Working on his crowd work. Representing Iceland, Halfborn. This guy's been working on it for much longer. Bjornsson. Well, this for me is, is almost the final big hurdle. He's such a good stone lifter, Bjornsson. A good performance here. And he'll have uh, one hand and four fingers on the trophy. Well, Kiriskovsky has just got that speed, hasn't he? He does. He's like a gazelle. I've said that before. He's the fastest in the world at loading. I mean, pretty much unbeaten in loading. But he, he's stride for stride here. Hat they Paul. really are. It's neck and neck. Up go the sets. He's ahead. Well, here we are. The safe. This is incredible. Wow. Both hands have to be off. The coming of age. The Viking era looks like it's back again. Well, what an incredible duel that was. 31.22 seconds. Putting Bjornsson in first place in that event. 
a worthy rival in Kieliszkowski. Just stumbled at the end, 33.6. I mean, they were neck and neck for most of that, Colin. And he's the greatest loader in the world for me, but he's just been beaten, so clearly he isn't. I think we're going to have a new world's strongest man, and I think it'll be an Icelander. Twenty-four years since a Brit stood on top of the podium at World's Strongest Man, but this guy, Eddie Hall from Stoke, probably stands a better chance than anybody. Let's see how he gets on in one of his favourite events here, Danny. There's enough, enough weight on his shoulders without this. I don't think Eddie Hall really thinks about the past. He's got a, a feeling of destiny in his future. He said many times he's going to win this contest. Now there's double figures. Look this is this. unbelievable. Over 30 seconds to go. He's already at 12. <laughs> oh, Incredible 13. ecstatic events. 14. Yes. How far can he go? Yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> 15 reps for Britain's Eddie Hall. Just one of the greatest. That is actually the highest amount of reps on this bar in history. Look at that. He gave it his all. That's how much he wants it, Colin. He kind of went mad. <laughs> I think that's a great description, yeah. I mean, Hall's got a great squat. Probably the best squat here, but that's for one rep. So Eddie went at it as fast as he could, so he didn't tire. Beast! <laughs> of 1994 will be decided in about half a minute's time and its fate is in the hands of these two men magnuson the winner in 1991 and herbal certainly one of the most talented guys around this is it Riku, of course will be watching the clock carefully he can still win but it's manford who's flying now he won this event on the beach in week two he's just ahead of magnus and it's do or die for the icelander Herbal is well ahead at the second. This is incredible from both men. Magnus, in fact, now in the lead at the third. This is real drama. It's Magnus, and the time is fast. This one is for the title. 29 seconds. Herbal, Keely, and the rest are beaten. This is real emotion for Magnus Van Magnuson. Over the thousand pounds. One thousand and five pounds. Ever the showman. He really is incredible. John Paul Sigmundson. So this is the world record lift. Another thirty pounds added to these groaning cartwheels. One thousand and seventy-seven pounds. No human being on the planet has ever lifted so much weight. And John Paul Sigmundson could well be doing it this sunny afternoon at Huntley Castle. I think he's got it. Yes, he has. That is a new deadlift world record. One thousand and seventy-seven pounds. And he strolls off quite happily as if he does it every day of the week. Has my to equal the new world record. And he's struggling. He hasn't got it. What do you want, mate? Bill Anderson says you didn't lock out. It's not a good lift. Kazma's gonna to have to try again. Well with that. You got it, and there'll be another day. It's all yours. Kazma concedes, acknowledges the applause of an enthralled crowd, and John Paul Sigmundson wants to go even higher. 1,153 pounds. It's another good lift. We could be here all day. 1,153 pounds, he has shattered the world record, and he's going to win this trophy. Of that, there's no doubt. And now, 
while Bill Kazmaier putting his laser-like concentration to the task. 969 pounds, just under 440 kilograms. said it all. You told me earlier that you were getting tired of Dave Waddington being referred to as the man with the strongest legs in the world. I guess you've won that right. Well, I am looking forward to squatting a thousand pounds in a national competition. That was real close to a thousand pounds. I'll be doing that in the near future. Big Brian Shaw. Well, he's been saying for some time that this is the event for him. And of course, being six foot eight, having the longest levers of anybody, he could be right. Away we go. Well, the time to beat, of course, was an outstanding one by Pujanovsky. 39-38. And this guy now going hand over hand. He's got quite an interesting technique, Colin, but it's effective. Well, everybody else got stuck on that first pole pole, not Brian Shaw, so we know he must be quicker off the start. And he's only five, six metres from the line. This is really quick. But he's not just going to win this event, he's going to blow everybody out of the water. Oh, my goodness. 32.44. That is almost seven seconds faster than Marius Pujanovsky. I think he liked that. Well, if you're going to build a perfect athlete, to pull a boat arm over arm, you'd build Brian Shaw. Six foot eight, long levers, incredibly strong hands and massive hands. Hands like a bunch of bananas. He's not letting go of that rope, no chance. Colossal power. This is just a colossal task after already having successfully lifted over 1,900 pounds. Colossal it is, but he is a colossus when it comes to the log press. So this is 445 and a half pounds for Zadruna Savickas. It's so easy for the big man from Lithuania. Big Z putting his trademark brute strength on display. So now the ball is in Mikhail Kaplyov's court. Can he match Zadruna Savickas? Nearly 450 pounds. He makes it look so easy. I'm not sure anybody will ever match this man when it comes to the log press. Well, that is the challenge now as the Druna Savickas looks on. It will be Mikhail Koklyov. He'll be attempting to lift 445 and a half pounds to keep this competition going. If I was a betting man, I'd bet against him here after seeing him double take that last wave. And he's got it. Koklyov now pushes the bar even higher. Where did that come from, Todd? I think Zadrunas is a little stunned as well. Back to the action. Zadrunas Savickas now attempting 462 pounds. You know, not long ago, a log press 100 pounds less than this would have been world class. Oh my gosh, she just makes it look so easy, Todd. 462, and now Kukliath must match him. That is just absolutely amazing. All right, so it comes down to this. Mikhail Kuklaev has to match this, or the win in this event will go to the defending champion, Zydrina Savickas. Time starts now. 462 pounds. And the Russian just doesn't have the drive. Now he can reset. We saw him do that on 418. And it's just not happening today. An impressive performance by both men, but your winner, Zadruna Savickas of Lithuania, the champion in the giant log press. He just looks so casual after that win. These are the kind of weights this guy lifts on a regular basis. Koklyev, obviously ecstatic to have made it this far in the log press and pushed the big man in his signature event.
final competitor, destined, I'm sure, to become world's strongest man for the second time in his life. Just being asked by the referee, Douglas Edmonds, can he hear the instructions? His girlfriend and Yarek Dimek looking on, and perhaps they're going to see world's strongest man ready? crowned slightly prematurely after this event yes. because there is still one more event to go. So here we go. The lead at the moment held by Zidruna Savikas. Six lift in 35.34. Oh, the muscularity of this guy is unbelievable and Demek is not leaving anything to chance. Making sure his friend knows exactly how much time is left and how fast he's lifting. Five lifts gone, one to go, and the time is looking pretty good. And he's gone ahead with it. He's got the lead. He doesn't even need this last lift. I can tell you Marius Pujanowski is the champion already. That is superb. And this has been a totally dominant performance by Poland. You did it. And how does this victory compare to the one you had 12 months ago? Rok temu mogę powiedzieć, że było ciężej, a w tym roku po prostu przeciwnicy troszeczkę jakby może odpuścili, albo ja dobrze się przygotowałem, nie wiem. And smile. Teraz Polska rządzi. Sure does. Amazing. Six events, four wins, two second spots, hardly worth the rest turning up. This is a one-man tour de force by the world's strongest man. So it comes down to the final pairing in the final event. Marius Pujanowski on the left, Derek Poundstone on the right. The rain has begun to fall once again, Kaz, but they are not letting that stop them. Their focus is only on the stones. Dead even at four stones at 350 pounds. Now to the fifth and final stone. Who will it be? Poundstone has it and he drops it. It's Pujanowski winning the title yet again. champion for five times we have said it we'll say it again